Look at these sexy kitchen knives, including this sexy sax chef knife. Would you wow. use that? I would use that in a heartbeat. Wow, sharp as a razor. <laughs> yeah, ju just to, to clarify, these are not sharp when you buy them. These are knife blanks. <laughs> Come on. Buy a knife if you haven't, or watch this video. This is a dried out brain coral. And whenever we have no idea what to make a video on, we just call Patrick and ask him what he has in the back seat of his car, and this was it. This you week. got it. I have no idea <laughs> what brain coral really is, other than the fact that it's coral. I just know it looks cool. Where did you get it? eBay. Where else? That's on eBay. And uh, you are wanting to make rings out of this right yes i think it'll because of how small the structure is on it i think it'll look really good for a ring are you gonna fill it with anything i think so we'll infuse it with a resin i'm thinking like a contrasty like a dark black maybe like a dark blue Ooh. i'll, I'll see first we gotta cut some slabs and uh we gotta figure out what that pattern looks like on the inside So what if we went back like an inch and then just did another one and then you could clean up? Yeah, go back like three quarters of an inch. And then if we could face off a flat side surface too. No, I can do that just fine as long as I got a flat top surface. It's looking a little rougher than we were thinking it was going to. Yeah, it's still pretty rough. It's not bad. We can flatten that out. I think the uh, the issue with this is we've got like these these veins that are like a much harder material than that like webbed porous, stuff, you know? Because yeah. this is like a hard calcium. I don't know what coral are made out of. <laughs> yeah. But it hits that and it gets deflected so easily and so it eats out a lot of the uh, the veiny parts. But So we decided to cut this one quite a bit thicker than we were initially planning. That's three quarters of an inch. So that you can then clean it up with a, uh, a diamond saw. Was I right? What's it made out of? It's uh, calcium carbonate. Very, very nice. Do you know I'm a marine biologist guess. by heart? I didn't know that. I'm going to be a long time down. <laughs> How long do they live for? Over 900 years, some of them. Isn't that wild? How do you tell how old they are? You got to count the rings. You know why they live 900 years? Because they're so smart. It's got a big brain. <laughs> <laughs> this piece is starting to discolor, and I think it might have to do with, in this tank, we cut some nasty stuff in there, so we drop chlorine tablets in every once in a while. So this water is very lightly chlorinated, which turns some of our steels green. And brain corals. And brain corals, I guess. Brain corals made out of steel, <laughs> as you all know. So now we come to the segment of the video where we just see if things are able to be laser engraved because we don't know what else to do with them. So, uh, here goes nothing. Do it. Hmm. I think we've got to slow the laser down a bit. Is that 100% power? That's 100%. Brain cold, don't even care. An occasional flash of light. We're going to make it three times slower. Nope. It just doesn't care. Hmm. Everybody always told me that honey badger didn't care, but I think it's brain coral. Yeah, I was about to take the crown. That's moving incredibly slow. Okay, stick and this that is, in. And this is on. It's powerful. It's strong. Yeah, like it's doing stuff. It's just not to the coral. It's too light. Can't absorb the energy. There we go. A little popcorn. It's almost like it's hitting other things that aren't coral in it, and that's like when it's lighting up. Yeah, a little like garnet pieces maybe. Yeah. And this is what we were trying to engrave. So wow. 
boy. Wow, what a smart cookie. Smart as Ann Coral. Smart as Ann Coral. <laughs> You're a pretty smart cookie, Mitchell. Why don't you take a bite? That's real smart, all right. And that's how you engrave a coral, and coral. Yep. This is the uh, quality of the craftsmanship that you guys can expect when you buy a Patrick Adair design yes. ring. <laughs> At least. So Patrick has already made the coral ring and I think it looks great. Yep. <laughs> He's got a video posted on his channel now of uh, the whole process of him making that along with the finished product. We'll have a link down in the description. Go check that out. It sounded like this one was maybe a little bit harder to work with, so I doubt this is a ring he'll be selling in the future. Yeah, I don't know how much he could source coral. Uh, Legally yeah. and ethically. <laughs> it's not gonna be sold. But it's a cool one-off ring, so go check it out. Link's down in the description. But if you did want to buy stuff, we got knives. All the knives. Do that. Which eye am I supposed to look at? There's like three cameras on your phone, damn. Just do whichever one makes you most comfortable. Which one's filming me? I don't actually know. Can you even tell if I look at different ones? I don't know, switch between them. Did you tell? No, your eyes just stayed the exact same. Okay. <laughs>